Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Damian and welcome to the Moya to Danny. Alright guys, thank you so much for stopping by. If you're a subscriber, I know I appreciate it greatly. And please don't forget to like this video. My new sub is like the first time I saw on my channel. Please make a decision to subscribe and you know this video. And most importantly, watch this video to the end. Trust me, don't want to skip any part of it. And do not forget to drop your comment in the comment section down below. Tell me what and what are the things you learned from this video. And lastly, please turn on your post notification bell so you get to be notified every time I post new videos. Yes, now to the video. I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not in the proper outfit for this video because obviously this is night. Okay, it's night time already, and I'm still dressed like I'm going out for work. Yes, so that's because I just had to like rush to make this video. Now today's video I'm going to be showing guys my nighttime routine and my skincare routine. So for those of you that have been conversant with my channel, you noticed that in about a week ago I dropped on this channel what my face looked like then. I don't know if you can tell if there's any difference right now. Can you? Can you? Okay, I don't know. So basically, I'm going to be showing guys what my nighttime routine is like, of which I've been so consistent. Like, guys, this is the first time I've been this consistent about my skincare. So, yeah, I don't have much products. Of course, you already know the products I got in the last video I uploaded. So, I'm just going to be showing guys the way I actually carry out this ritual. <laughs> so, let's just dive into the, into the video. The first thing I'm going to be doing, I am going to be massaging my face with this egg soap. I showed you guys the other time. For those of you that are not conversant with it, well, there's something called egg soup, and this is exactly like egg yolk. The fat. Look at the external fat and the internal yolk. <laughs> so I'm going to apply this on my face, but right now it won't do the magic unless I actually damp my face with water. Okay, not like dripping water, but my face has to be well, you know, damp so that the soap can actually stay on my face. And I'm going to be leaving the soap on my face for nothing less than ten minutes all right let's just do that right now i'm going to be applying the soup i'm sure you have to look at the camera so that you can apply it whichever way <laughs> see me i'm not i'm not rigid there eh? but one thing is that just make sure you apply to the face part of your face that is actually affected mine is mostly my forehead i don't know if anybody's giving me with acne here see that's the middle of you what have we been doing about it I have more spots. That's one thing I noticed. Spots. Let me guess which way. Alright, guys, so I am back. Yes, I actually went to take my dates in the process because I was like, will I now apply my facial then now take my dates? Because me says, what do you think, guys? So I just had to take my dates so that this whole process can go as smoothly as well. So, yes. The girl is back. Yeah, so there's something I noticed. Actually, I'm going to just with you guys and allow my face dry naturally because I don't like using towels to clean my face after I realized that it's actually not nice for your face, especially if you have skin issues, for you to be using your body towel to, you know, to dry out the water on your face. So I like to dry out naturally. So why they are waiting for my face to dry naturally? Okay, let's just do it. Now, guys, have you noticed something about... Whenever you take your bath, do you actually watch the water that comes out of your body? Like, do you see how dirty that water is? Especially when you have the opportunity to bathe in a bathtub, you would realize that the dirt that comes out from our body is something else. Like, gosh, huh? I don't know. Is it the dust we vaporized during the days at CBC? Imagine someone taking bath without sponge. How do you even get rid of those days from your skin? Because we don't use sponge like this. Like, I can use sponge in the morning and the night. Like, I don't care. I don't even listen to what everybody has to tell me. How can I bathe without sponge? Like, I feel like you will Honestly, ah, you will own me bathing without sponge. Tell me in the comment section, do you actually bathe without sponge? Then, then apart from that, ah, what's a good way to take your bath with in warm water? Like, cold water cold water all the time i think you should try to bathe with warm water sometimes but i try to do the magic okay and so basically that's what i'm going to say it's me applying my neutrogena 
speed and clear so that you will have it this is what i actually use as my exfoliating toner i'm new to this skincare stuff so i'm not a professional i'm just trying my best but i know that many people have said that this thing actually works very well this is great so i just pour a little make sure your palms are clean make sure your palms are clean so i just pour a little on my palm probably like three drops this thing is actually like spirit before you make it starts to get into the air like evaporate into the air so i actually started with the cotton part but ah, almost but i feel that cotton part you know they do me at all so i had to just switch to my palms i was skeptical by using my palms because of the fragile cartilage but don't want anything that injurious to my palm after a while this all pays me more than that cotton part so i feel like applying it to my hand does more of the magic for me so i apply to the affected area first then and do the other part so i'm trying to look at what i'm applying so yes i thought to put it in our neck so whatever you apply to your face do the same for your nose i'm just going to allow it to sit for a while then i'll go in with the next product and i'll go review this skincare stuff i don't know how people do it those of you that are consistent morning routine night routine some people even have afternoon routine me as far as i'm concerned i did not go out with this product on my face i don't have a good sunscreen product so i use them only at night time to go in with my dr rachel vitamin c brightening and aging serum so you have used it one thing i love about this product is that they easily get absorbed into my skin so yeah look how shiny my face is looking gosh i would be so glad if these things actually do the magic they are meant to do this is my cheap bone eh? this, this, is very, this one contains arelic acid retinol and organic vitamin c well why is it falling on my nose glycerin and rose water like i said i don't know what i'm doing but in case you notice i'm not applying it rightly i use very good care uh, a good skincare specialist on my channel please drop in the comment section what and what i'm supposed to be doing all i know is i'm doing facial routine so this one i don't want it to be too expensive why be very good moisturizer like damn good can you use my lid? Yeah, like. You can see that I use my hands to apply all these products. Go face padding, go go cotton padding, caramel. This is what I don't know. Get thin into your skin. And so, guys, yes, I have come to the end of this video. These are the basic five steps routine that I actually follow at night. To make sure that i have a flawless skin that i desire so if you also have any skin issues like me and you have any specific products you are using that is actually working magic please drop in the comment section down below for me i'll be itching to read from you guys and please let me know what you think about this video and i'll see you in my next one do not forget to like this video and turn on your post notification bell to get notified whenever i post the next video i'll see you again soon bye Thank you.